So this is a spam message that I got recently. And how do I know that it's spam? Well, initially we can look at the title here, which it says, thank you for your order. And then there's what looks to be an order number, which I mean, okay, yeah, I, I do order a fair amount of stuff. So sure, I get confirmation emails, thank you emails, sure, stuff like that. But then I'm looking at the name of this person. So it looks like Tijuana Hut Hutchison, I guess is how you would say that. So that's someone that I don't know. So if we put that into Google, what happens here? We're getting like news articles for, okay, looks like uh, a match on the last name Hutchinson here, but I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing exact matches for like this exact person. So, mm, okay, so yeah that's immediately a, a red flag, right? Okay, so might have missed something. Let's let's continue. So the next thing is I'm looking at this email address. Okay, so it's a Gmail address, which lots of people can have Gmail addresses. So if we search for that, we get, it looks like there's an actual Nathan Crawford person, but if you look at the actual email address, that's actually not what it says. It says Nathan ER. Crawford ESD at Gmail. So there's a person on Instagram here, different people on LinkedIn. There's a Facebook profile. Okay, I mean, so sure, it's a, it seems like a relatively common name. Yeah, maybe, but still, it doesn't seem to be any exact matches. If we show searches, yeah, see, like, there's a, there's different profiles on here, right? There's a LinkedIn thing. Yeah, so, right, changing some of the search terms we're getting. Looks like there's a baseball player here. Yeah, okay, so that email address, it seems pretty unlikely that someone is reaching out to me directly from this email address with a legitimate concern or with legitimate <laughs> interest. So the next thing is we're gonna look at the content of the email. It says, your solicitation has been gotten and we anticipated to deliver a quick thankful. We're reliable to have your commercial business business enterprise. That sounds like it was spit out from like Google Translate or like an AI chatbot <laughs> or something. We got this, this double business business enterprise thing here. We're, we're reliable to have your commercial business. It sounds like they're trying to say like thank you for your business but it's it's very awkward way to phrase that like, like also this thing here your solicitation has been gotten and we anticipated to deliver a quick thankful it's it's such a weird way of saying basically thank you for your order like we received your order thank you for your order stuff like that so yeah this language stuff is all wrong based on the red flags from the name the unexpectedness of this email wasn't expecting didn't order or anything from this. The email address is unexpected also and no connection to that. Uh, the language in the in the email is all wrong. So that is way too many red flags for me. So there's a PDF attachment. I am absolutely not going to download it or open it because that seems very likely that this thing is either malware or it's an attack vector or something like that. So even though it does say this scanned by Google, right? And Google gives you this little tool tip here to say that they're trying to protect you from bad attachments, even though it looks like this is, you know, we don't have any like big red warning banners or labels or anything. I am very suspicious that this is malware or a scam or, or something. So anyway, wanted to make this uh, quick video here to share how I figured out that this is almost certainly a spam or scam email. Do let me know if going through why I think it's a scam like that is helpful and how I determine that. Make sure to like, subscribe, share it with a friend, all that good stuff. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.